What's up guys, PJ back at you with another video here today. What I've got in front of me is the Creality Sir Moon D1. So we're gonna unbox this, take a look at what's inside and see what's required to assemble it, if any at all. All right, what do we got inside here? Cool, a piece of foam to throw at my cameraman. <laughs> J-Ron must love me. We've got a plexiglass door. A second plexiglass door. Oh, look, more fun stuff to throw at the cameraman. Looks like we've got some side panels. Awesome, more foam to throw at the cameraman. Yeah, we like to have a little fun around the office here from time to time. More foam, but, but we'll leave Jaron alone this time. We'll let, we'll let it slide. Looks like some side panel brackets or mounts. We're gonna need some more room here. Looks like we've got four of these. So there's definitely assembly required. This is my first time looking at the printer, pulling it out of the box. We got, looks like some uprights. Lead screw. More foam, we'll, we'll, we'll let Jaron avoid getting hit with more. I think I've picked on him enough there. Okay. Again, very, very well packaged by Creality. They do a good job to ensure that the printer is secure. Okay. Looks like the top half of the printer on rails and belts. Ooh, look at that, guys. I'm, uh, this is a step up for Creality. We've got some rails and belts here. All metal extruder, I see. Remember, guys, this is the first time I'm even seeing this printer. Typical Creality uh, spool holder and um, what is this, 200 grams of white PLA. You've got here your, probably your accessory box, nuts and bolts, hardware, stuff like that's gonna be in there. User manual, probably build manual as well. Okay, another big piece of foam protecting everything. Oh, well, it looks like we're down to the lower half of the printer now. So let's carefully. Get that out of there. Let's see what we got going on. Is anything tied down? Nope. It looks like the printer just comes out of the bottom piece of foam there. What else do we got? Oh, this is separate too. Nothing connecting. And it looks like your bed and the access your bed will be secured to. All right, I'm just gonna take a look at the instructions and go over a few things. We'll be back at you guys with the build portion. So the first step we're gonna do in the manual, it tells you to install all four of these upright corner pieces. Now Creality has labeled them up with the number. They're also labeled in the manual. So you can go ahead and just take a look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install all four of these. It's also gonna be the biggest M4 Allen key they provide. Make sure, I'm just gonna leave the corner hanging off of the bed a little bit. That way I can get underneath here and thread it in. Now you're gonna wanna repeat this process on all four sides. Just make sure you correlate the numbers where they belong. Now,
Now, I would highly recommend leaving the stickers on. That way, if you ever have to dip, disassemble it, you don't gotta get a piece of masking tape and mark, number them all again. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna install the two uprights for your Z-axis to roll along. And we are going to use the M4 by 14 screws. So you're gonna take a look in the bags provided and I've found the four M by four 14 screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these are probably going to be a three mil hex drive. So you can use the driver or the provided tools. Um, and it looks to be a three mil. And then we have the right side. All right, so moving forward, now that we've got the uprights all installed, as well as for the Z-axis, we're gonna go ahead and install the bed. So I'm gonna wanna make the Creality sign face forward. And it looks like as simple as that. That seems like it's gonna be a nice smooth dual Z moving bed. So I'll let that rest down. So next we're gonna take this um, pre-greased Z-rod, and there's two of them, and we're gonna thread them on down. Now when you tighten down the rod, make sure the rod isn't actually bottoming out against where the coupler and the motor shaft are. You wanna make sure it's just a little bit above before tightening. You can do so by just holding it up a little bit as you tighten. Now make sure you tighten these enough. If you don't, they'll slip right out. Also double check the one attached to the motor as well, make sure it's tight enough. Next step, pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the top upper part of the printer and place it on top. Now back to your bigger set of nut and bolt which I believe is the six by 35s. We're gonna go ahead and install the, tighten down the, um, the uprights. All right, so the next step here, they provide this, seems to me like a filament guide or some type of guide. I haven't got that far into it. Again, this is my first time even looking at the printer. I'm gonna install that with the two provided screws. Okay, so the next step in the video, what we're gonna take you through is just simply, there's some connectors. It's really hard to mess up. So we've got your hookups over here for your bed and bed thermistor. They've done a new connector. It looks like an MF60R. Um, so it's got three um, wires coming out for the bed now, which is a new feature I've never seen Creality do. Um, then you've got your screen hookup, it looks like. Um, actually be controls for end stops, excuse me. Uh, the filament runout sensor, which is gonna plug into one of the side panels. Um, so they also give you some provided zip ties. Now what those are gonna be for is right here on the printer, they give you a couple little plastic pieces to cable manage nice and neat all your wiring to keep it out of the way. So you'll just do this for both sides You'll take the provided zip ties. You'll go ahead and run them in. 
then you're gonna wanna go ahead and manage it. So there's, you really don't wanna put any tension. I don't like to over tighten zip ties against wires, especially on any printer that might have a moving part where you're zip tying that wire. You, the chances for shorting at that zip tie point raise. So even with these, I'm just going to secure them down, but to keep in mind, I don't wanna pinch any of the wiring. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna over tighten my zip ties. Okay, so cable manage it nice and neat. Try and keep it flat. They also provide you with a pair of side cutters or flush cutters. Some people prefer to call them. Hmm, looks a little different this pair than what I've seen in the past. Now you're just gonna repeat that process over here on this side. All right, so moving forward on the build here, what we're gonna do is put all the side panels in now. So I have the screen facing to the front of me, which will be for the first panel. You're gonna wanna put that in the top end first and then the bottom. Then we're gonna use the four by eight provided screws and the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Remember this is plexiglass guys, so we don't want to um, over tighten against that plexiglass and have a crack occur. We'll just bear that in mind while you're tightening down the screws. So next we will go ahead and I'm going to install the back panel. All right, so the next step we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna take the doors and install the doors. It's pretty straightforward though, all nuts and bolts, really easy to do. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the provided corner caps to pretty this beast up a little bit here. I'm actually a little bit impressed with Creality. They've taken it a little step forward. We've got rails and belts for your X and Y, which I'm a personal fan of having no wheels. Uh, so for me, this is a plus. Uh, so far, I'm actually kind of liking the construction of this printer. And believe me, I'm hard to please when it comes to 3D printers. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the provided brackets here. We're gonna pop these in place. Let's see if I know what I'm doing here. So, after observing it, what you've got here is some notches, as well as some notches in the frame itself. So you're gonna wanna line those notches up, and then they just simply push in. Now, let's not be too forceful and break some of our clips. Let's be mindful of that. And one last thing, don't forget to plug in your filament runout sensor on the side here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through some of the screen functions. Then I'm gonna take this printer down into my office and run it through its paces and do some awesome test prints for you guys. Okay guys, we're back from the tech room. So what I decided to do with the Shermoon was little pen holder thing dragon claw kind of went with the dragon theme on this one um, this was printed in so one two three uh six pieces actually to do this one and we had mr lee in the shop there glue everything together and clean out i'd say 98 percent of the support i'm sure we missed some because there is a lot of support in this dragon knocker pretty neat i like it Turned out very well. Um, we also did a little test on the pause and resume. It works fine. And then I printed something especially for Jaren. He's not paying attention. He's on his phone. Let's see if we can. <laughs> Jesus, I missed him. Let's go automatic fire. Oi! Little PLA cannon here. 
You can find links to all these things on Thingiverse. We'll make sure Jared and our cameraman there post them up in there. But this thing has been printing, so I couldn't showcase all of my prints. I actually needed to do things for customers and it printed so well that I just went ahead and printed PETG carbon fiber and things and some mounts for Ender Direct drives, etc. with this printer. So I probably, since we've been back, printed 20 prints on it and it's still going strong uh, with the Catapult being the last one. Uh, so I'm very satisfied with this printer, the Direct Drive. It's more like a real Core XY. They did really good on this one. So my hat's off to Creality on this printer, definitely. Uh, I can't wait to do some more prints on it. So don't forget guys, you gotta like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff for us. Tell your friends about us and we'll see you in the next video.